Hi friends, it's me, Hannah. I have just returned from like a month and a half long trip around the entire world. I got back like a day and a half ago and instead of taking time to relax and I honestly haven't even unpacked, I just rented a floor sander so that I can start redoing my floors upstairs in the bedroom. So I'm gonna go pick that up and we're gonna get into project mode because I don't know how to stop. <laughs> All right, I have procured the sander. Also, I love when I go into like construction company places, equipment places, hardware stores, I don't know. And I like rent stuff like this. And as I'm leaving, they're like, all right, good luck you guys. And I'm like, who's you guys? It's just me. Do -do 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 -do. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. I haven't tried to lift this sander yet, but it looks really high. It's like 125 pounds. Oh yeah. Finally got a respirator mask. You guys gotta be so happy for me. Finally, leveling up. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is actually hilarious. It's my package that I delivered to myself from Hong Kong. That arrived so much faster than I thought it would. Okay. Oh, of course I wore all black. through sanding pads like nobody's business. 
There's dust everywhere. My shoulders hurt from moving the thing around. And all I keep thinking is the room is gonna look so good when I'm done. All right, we got this. All right, bugaboos. The floor is relatively paint ridden. Now I need to go get the edger, rip off the trim. I'm taking it with me to get the edger because it snowed while I've been doing this project. Like it snowed for a couple days. And I just gotta show you guys. Like my walkway was shoveled and then it snowed and now it's up to my knees. Not kidding. And I'm not even down to the bottom of the snow. guys okay i think i got most of the sanding done yesterday today i just need to go over with finer grits which should be relatively simple i say now before i do it which inevitably always turns out to be wrong but i need a break and so i'm gonna work on something else for a little bit this morning before i have to get sandy again okay so this is my upstairs hallway <laughs> which is cluttered with stuff, obviously. This is my closet. I have just ordered a washer and dryer. They're supposed to go in here, so I need to move everything out of here so that there is space for the washer and dryer. I want to actually close off this doorway and put like a built-in thing here. I don't know, you'll, it's not important right now. This is my bathroom. This is the wall inside the closet and I wanna cut out a door here. That will be the entrance to the laundry room. I'm gonna work on that a little bit. I'm gonna, I gotta take all my clothes out of here and obviously I need a place to store my clothes still. So I'm going to move everything from in the closet over to here. I'm gonna try like put all the, all the storage bars and things up so that I have somewhere to store my clothes while I'm working on everything. This room has just turned into the junk room. This is where I'm keeping everything while my other rooms are all being renovated. So it is a bit of a mess in here. I've been sleeping on the couch. Oh, 
Why does that, that looks not straight? Is it because I have tape on the wall? Or is this wall not straight? <laughs> There's no way that's straight, unless the wall is not straight. That looks straight. It says it's straight. <laughs> I'm confused. Whatever, it'll look right on the other side, hopefully, because there won't be a wall to contrast it with. I don't know. So the house is just not level. I mean, I already knew that, but like, it's really making it hard to frame things out. I'm gonna just start with this side of the wall because it matters less because this closet is gonna be less seen than the bathroom. I'm gonna just start cutting. That's it. I can also see in between the cracks here that there's no stud. Looks like there's a stud right here. I'll probably have to cut that out and move it over just slightly. I'll start with this side, get some of this out and see where we're at. Let's cut it. going is, well, everything can be fixed. Okay, here we go. I don't think I can do it from this side. Oh my god! It's happening, folks! Oh my god, I did it. You guys are so cute. Oh, look who found it. Okay, last day. Oh god, this room is terrible. Today's the last day I have the sander, so I'm gonna just do all the more fine grit stuff and kind of get the floor just kind of finished up. And then I'm freaking done in here. I'm gonna clean the heck out of it. It is so dusty. <laughs> okay, I didn't film any of that because it was all just detail work. I'm so over this room. I'm sorry, but I have to return this sander now and there's a snowstorm coming so I have to make sure I do it now. Feels so good without a coat. Fuck. Can she lift it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Ah, went the wrong way. Okay, one more time. We can do it. If we did it once, we can do it again. Oh my god. Oh. I did it. Okay. Fuck. If I ever try to rent that thing again, don't. Somebody tell me not to, okay? Don't, don't let me. I never want to sand another floor. All right, let me go get rid of this freaking thing. I have plumbers coming tomorrow to plumb the upstairs toilet and washing machine. I have to make a pedestal to raise the toilet up so that the pipes can go at their incline. So I have to go very far, far away to the hardware store because everything nearby is closed because it's Sunday. So I figured since I'm going to the big hardware store, I might as well get all of the supplies for all of any other possible projects I might ever, ever possibly need or want. Okay, so imagine if you will, 
the bed goes in the middle. I want to do like an arched thing here that goes over to the edge of the bed and then it's like all built in. I just think it could be like a cool bed nook, you know, and then especially with the window right there. I think it would just be... <sighs> here we go. Okay, I'm like halfway to the hardware store, but I have to release. I caught two little mice last night. Oh my god, you're so cute. Okay, I gotta let them go. I try to release them near trees with little holes so that they have somewhere to kind of run and hide into. Bye. I don't remember what time I left the house. I think it was like noon. Guess what time it is? It's three o'clock. It took an hour and a half to get here. And then I sat in the Taco Bell parking lot for like 20 minutes. And then I got Taco Bell because you can't go into the hardware store hungry or you will have a breakdown. And then I got here um, at the hardware store and I'm, I've been sitting here for 20 minutes too because I just keep putting it off. I, I don't know what it is. It's like hardware store anxiety. It's not even like anxiety. It's just the fact that I got to go in there and find all the things. I realized as I was turning the corner to get into the parking lot that I could have just like, pre-ordered the stuff so that it was ready to go. I just shop it online, but that would have required foresight. Uh, an inch thick, so I think you would pop through it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it loud? I was like, why are you yelling? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an inch thick! Uh, okay. Watch your head. <laughs> Thank you. I thought I'd get you that. That was so nice of you. First time yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a real quality day with my plumber. <laughs> wondering what what's been happening today i just haven't really been filming a ton because my plumber was here cleaning up the pipes down in the basement just getting them configured a little better and also we're putting in a toilet in the upstairs bathroom and a washer and dryer in the closet 
so he's gonna have to come back i don't know later this week my uncle's coming on wednesday to help me run a 220 outlet for the dryer I'm trying to remember all the terminology all this sizes and whatnot i don't i don't know what i'm talking about i'm just learning on the fly anyway I'm trying to get all that done this week because the washer and dryer get delivered on next monday so got a lot of work to do but i think we're gonna get it done i'm so excited i've never had my own proper washer and dryer and drying clothes as fun as it's been i've been drying them in my spare room <laughs> and i really don't want to ruin the floors so i think it's about time i get a dryer this video is all over the place because i don't know what i'm doing with my life and i just keep picking up new and more and more projects it's good though i'm getting a lot done <laughs> All right, I'm at the point in this room where I can't get the dust off of everything anymore with like a broom and whatnot. So I'm getting my mop out <laughs> and I'm gonna mop the ceiling and the walls first and then I'll do the floors. I need to paint before I do the floors. I have no idea what color yet, but we'll figure that out later. <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna build the built-in thing that I wanna build and then do the floors. I feel like I wanna do the floors last because I don't want to do all the work at the floors and then be working on building things in here and potentially digging and dent and whatever, so. way i uh completely didn't in typical hannah fashion wow i left the stove on god i didn't do much research before buying a laundry machine i mean like obviously i should have known but the dryer needs a 220 outlet we have to wire down to my my breaker box and I wasn't gonna screw around with that. So he's coming to help me. And of course I decided I wanted the washer and dryer in the furthest corner away from the breaker box in the upstairs. So this is gonna be a funny, funny little workaround we gotta do today. Okay, my uncle's coming. Help me bring this out. Hello. You need a snowblower is what you need. I do need a snowblower. I have to shovel all of this. another present for you. Oh, the complete guide to wiring. Okay, my uncle is currently downstairs drilling holes in my floor to get to the basement. So I am going to finish my job of ripping out this floor piece to put the plumbing and the electrical through. Oh. You're hurting the other wood, Hannah. Don't get too excited. Do you think? I, I don't know. I don't know how these walls line up. No, I don't either. Oh, 
far are you from the outside wall? Oh, uh, I don't know, like 10 inches? Foot? How far is the hole? Surely, it's up here, it's a foot away from the wall. Holy shit. Didn't come through yet, did I? No, I don't think so. That one's through. Oh yeah, yep, it's through. Okay, here we go. I think it's twisted. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna pull it and see how far we are. I think we got enough now. Creepy down here. Okay, do it again. Yeah! You see it? It's crazy that they just build these like rock walls down here. I really wonder what's in that trash bag. Like, what if it's just a body? You know? Freaky. I don't even want to think about it. Why did I start thinking about it? I got plenty through the cabinet. Okay. Going back up. I feel like I'm a little gremlin. Do you want it? If you shoot for a half inch half above inch that okay. top. Before you screw that top on, I'll have to uh, we gotta get water in there. Yeah, well, I won't screw the top on, I was just gonna cut it out in size. <laughs> Cover. Wow, okay, I didn't ever tell you guys what I did with my uncle. He installed that. <laughs> and then I just built a pedestal for the toilet. We couldn't put the plumbing in the floor because of joists. But these are here, right? Yeah. I asked that. Can you help? Uh, unless you want to get in the way. <laughs> Looks like a throne. <laughs> Wow, it is literally Saturday, which means my video is supposed to go, this video, this video is supposed to go live tomorrow. I still haven't finished editing and I also don't have a conclusion because it's been so much work um, the last two weeks. Like it's just been nonstop. And I know that it hasn't been like fun stuff, like the fun stuff, well, I don't know. I did cut out a door. That's That was pretty fun. <laughs> And crawled around in the base. Okay, all right. So maybe there was some fun stuff, but like I know it's not like the big fun stuff where it's like transformational. But sometimes that's just the way it goes. A lot of this was like demo work and like you know, like pipes and wiring. It's all the groundwork for the next video. This is just well, there's plants because I <laughs> might have set up the shot for the thumbnail of this video behind the scenes information here that you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> the toilet's in. Um, there is plumbing. There's plumbing in here. It's ready for the washer and dryer. I'm just excited for next, the next video. Also, the toilet is hilarious. <laughs> it's so high up. That's it. That's the end of the video. Anyway, love you guys. Talk to you later.